This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Getting Started with Google Apps video series, and in this video, we're going to be talking about setting up email configuration within an existing domain so you can use Gmail with your own domain name. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's required for that. In order to use our domain name as part of our email address, we have to add MX records in the DNS for our domain. Uh, now, it's not a difficult thing, and real quick, let me go back for just a second and define for you what an MX record is. MX stands for Mail Exchange Record, and what it, uh, all it is is an entry in DNS that tells us the name of the server that's responsible for handling email. So it's nothing that's you know really difficult, but again, we don't have to understand everything in order to use it. So let's go ahead and take a look at Google's instructions for us in this regard and then go ahead and set up some MX records in our DNS for sastrainingonline.com. All right, so we're here back at our Google Apps. And you'll notice here that they're still checking our domain ownership, and it may take a little while to complete. That doesn't mean we don't we can't go ahead and activate the email settings and actually add those records into the DNS. Let's go ahead and click on activate email here in the control panel and now it's going to uh, give us some instructions on exactly what to do now we need to show instructions for our particular hosting company now not everyone is listed here but a lot of them and since we're using GoDaddy as our domain registrar we're going to go ahead and see the instructions for them and once again it's going to ask us to go into uh, the domain section uh, we just saw this in the, la in the previous video and we're actually going to go in and add some MA some MX records and let's go ahead and take a look at what it would look like here we are in the total DNS control panel once again we simply scroll down and here underneath mail exchange we're going to click on add new MX record and now we're going to actually add in our mail exchanger uh, records into the mix all right, so we're here at the mail exchanger items. Uh, so let's go back to our Google Apps and see what the values are that we need to actually put in. And again, it's all about copy and paste. There's no reason to actually uh, punch this stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first record. You notice that there's little periods at the end. We need those. Okay, don't uh, don't let those out of don't let those go. Those are there for a reason. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the first one and then let's see that particular item it's going to go to address we're going to put it in this box our host name is the little at symbol all right so let's put in the little at and that's a priority of 10 okay not a problem so we'll select 10 from the list and we'll click ok all right let's do one more just so you have the hang of it i'm going to add one more new mx record I'm going to go back over here to Google Apps. We know that our priority value for this one is 20. The at symbols are host name and it goes to address alt1 ASPMX. Copy that guy. Come over here, goes to address, paste that guy in. The host name is going to be the at symbol. And again, this guy's priority is going to be 20 and tell it OK. So we've added two. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the, the other three. I'm not going to make you sit here, though, with me while I, uh, while I go ahead and add these other three because you know how to do it now. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to you as soon as I'm done adding in the other three records. Okay. Well, I've added the other three records, but now as I stop and I look, I'm actually uh, missing a very important element. You see how we have these TTL values, time to live? Those are how long those records live in the DNS server. So we need to go back and make a quick alteration in the DNS items for these, each of these items. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the little edit icon and specify one week for each of my records. Now once again I'm going to rinse and repeat until I complete all of these uh, so I won't make you sit here and watch me for all of them or maybe I will because it doesn't look like it's taking much time at all here so as we sit here and kind of click through I said none of this stuff is rocket science it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience to read through and figure out exactly what Google wants us to do for each of these items now 
after I've gotten all of my uh, time to live items fixed up, I need to go here and I need to delete out the old records. Now, uh, GoDaddy does provide uh, email forwarding services with the dia with uh, its domains, but these items are going to kind of squirrel up our uh, operation with Gmail. So. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and take out this SMTP secure server.net and mail store secure server.net. These guys I don't need because I'm going to be using Gmail. And all I need in that case are the MX records that point to Google's server. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy. It's going to ask me, hey, are you sure you want to delete this record? Yes, I am. And let's do one more. And we have SMTP secure server.net. And yes, we want to delete that. Okay, you'll notice here pending removal means they're not out of the, uh, they're not quite out of the DNS just yet, but they will be soon. All right, returning back over here to uh, Google Apps, our records are all set up. And now that I'm finished, I can tell it to go ahead and try to check my MX records. So I'm going to click on I've completed these steps and see what it tells me. Okay, I've told it that I've completed the steps that it's asked me to complete. So now I'm going to scroll down here. Looking at the management page, it tells me that they are checking the MX records for the domain just to make sure, again, that I actually do own the domain and I'm not trying to commit fraud through email. Uh, and it's, it might take 48 hours to complete. Probably not. It may take an hour or so. Once again, I'm not going to make you sit here and uh, wait with me while we're, while Google is checking the domain ownership and the MX records for the domain. So I'm going to pause the video here, and we'll be right back as soon as these two, uh, uh, as soon as our email is all verified. All right, good news, everyone. Google has gone back to our DNS server, has checked through the MX records, and found everything to be intact. So it's about, it may take about another hour for Google servers to update all the way so that we have full access to everything that we need to use Gmail along with our domain name, sastraininginline.com, as the address. So it looks like we are ready to go. This video is brought to you by TrainSignal, network admin's number one choice for professional IT training, where you'll find videos on Microsoft, Cisco, Linux, CompTIA, and more. Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.